time again. Morning. And it's that place again. The Kyle family vlog. You can see out here yesterday we cleaned all this. Oh, a good chunk of this filled up. We've removed all the um, the piles of stuff that were down here. You can still see we've got some piles up there. And then we've got the other side of this hill that we started, but we got to go do. And then we've got the other side of the house over here that we've got to do as well. So, pretty big job, but uh, it's pretty chilly today and we're supposed to be getting some rain. We really want to finish it today, but uh, we're racing the weather, so let's see how that goes. We are at Rocky Top and I have to point <laughs> out this little boy on this truck over here. It's pretty windy out. We both are here working. All of a sudden he stands on the side of the truck, pulls his pants down, whips it out, and in the wind just whoosh. Luckily I didn't get, you know, anywhere near us. But... It was like the epitome of a manly little child. Like, yeah. I'm going to do this yeah. on top of this truck. Yeah. It's actually really funny because we see kids here fairly often that really could just be helping mom and dad do something but at least twice now we've seen kids where it's very obvious this is a company but four-year-old so-and-so is out with dad uh, doing work and so it's good to know we're not the only ones it's it's nice mm -hmm. well guys we failed look at this it is sheets of snow coming down it's a Saturday and we like slept in and then we got up and we kind of putzed around, cleaned the house, watched anime. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All morning. That was our morning. And so now we're going to get, it's <clears throat> past breakfast. We kind of snacked for breakfast and it's like past dinner. lunch time. It's not early dinner, it's a late lunch. Um, we're going to go get breakfast for late lunch. How have you been doing today, Tibbs? Um, I've been doing really good. He is talking so much and he's learning new letters. Like, I, I've never heard him say, like, a really good wuh sound before. And this morning, he was saying water. But his wuhs were really clear. And his he, wuhs. His wuhs. His wuhs. He has so many words in his vocabulary now that I sometimes because I can't understand him, it takes me a few minutes to figure out which one he's saying. I'm like, oh, I, you're talking to me, but he'll string three words in a row, and I'm like, this means this, and this means this, and this means this. I'm still slow. How are you doing with that? Good, man. I'm so excited. Sean and I are going to go to Village Inn. And <laughs> yeah, I was talking I about that. I know you just said that. I know, but I'm just so excited. I'm just hungry and excited, okay? He's very excited. Um, Natty and I have a natural state of going out and doing adventurous things and this past winter has been very like, oh we have a baby and our business is not really doing much and so we're in hibernate mode kind of. And man, you get a little cabin fever. So it's nice to feel like we're actually going out and doing stuff mm -hmm. again even if it's just, you know, the weekends. We've thought about, we now have a list of other things that we're like talking about going and doing, which for a while was like, oh, it's really snowy and it's dark out and Tibbs needs to go to bed soon. Yeah. And so we wouldn't go do anything. But now we have these Saturdays that are nice and open. And so there's a museum we want to go to and there's some other animal <clears throat> stuff we want to go see. And yeah, so we're going to go on some adventures soon. John and I, thanks to Netflix, have recently got some special motivation and inspiration in our lives and I think we <laughs> let me explain. homage to Netflix. No, it's because it's because I think that now we're actually going to seriously start working out again together. Sean and I used to be like like straight up athletes together. Like five thousand calories a day, yo. You but, can't look at my body and think about it. Think it think that was the case. I know, now, now we have mom and dad bods and we must rescue that because um, <laughs> we both really like being athletic and feeling capable and being able to like move lively when we miss that um, we don't really have big problems we still are pretty strong and have good muscle mass and uh, decent endurance but we're not where you we know where we want to be yeah. we binge watched uh, like Netflix documentaries on fitness stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Anything else? Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Those CrossFit girls were like... Oh, yeah. Like these mythical creatures that just like born of muscle and sweat and tears. It was awesome. Oh. Could bench press me, but I don't think they do bench presses in CrossFit, so maybe they would have been. clean me. <laughs> me. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, you know where we're at, don't you? Don't you now? Don't you know? Don't you know? We got here and he got all excited. One of the words that we didn't know, know he was saying for quite a while, we, we couldn't figure it out, was tasty. Yeah, tasty. Yeah. He, when we talk about, oh, like, when we talk about food, he would quite often tell us tasty. Or he'll tell us. <laughs> that means no. That means, <laughs> no, that means no, I don't want that. <laughs> These guys are just hanging out. Just Tiz chilling. is so cute. He's so little in this big booth. Tiz, I can only see your head. <laughs> hey, when we were He's looking, he grabbed a silverware. He yoinked it pretty quickly. Uh, no. Now there's a light up there, huh? All right, guys, I've uncovered the secret to a really good village inn breakfast. You order their, like, half ham steak or whatever it is, and then, yeah, you just douse it with, uh, with um, syrup. syrup, thank you. Do you want a bite? This is really He's bad like, for you, um, I don't think yes. you should have a bite of this. Hey bubs. Yo. That was pretty good, thanks for, that thanks was for taking me out to eat. I could eat that much again. <laughs> I know. Daddy is never completely satisfied with a meal unless she has to like, be rolled out the door and... That is very, very true. It's a bad habit that I've had since I was a young kid. We are price shopping for shoes for me. Actually, we're not really price shopping. We're going to see if Costco has any. But we want to check Costco just because I kind of want some beat up work shoes. Stuff that I can, that are new and have decent traction since I'm going to be doing gutter cleaning. But um, I'm probably going to get my next like training shoes at REI. Um, but for work shoes that I'm just going to beat up and throw away, I don't feel like spending the money. So we're going. To, to check and see if Costco has anything. And we're also price shopping for tires because we need to add that to next month's budget. Yeah. But, wow, well, my voice We crying. have to get new tires before we drive to Kansas City. Well, it's just about time anyways. We were looking at them like several weeks ago and we're like, oh, it's time to change the tires. And once it's time to change the tires, it's like every day you walk out, I swear they're, they're thinner than they were the day before. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they're not and they could make it a little while longer, but for the work we do, it's better to just have the tires changed at this point, especially if we're going out of town. I don't know why I came this way. <laughs> I didn't oh, need to yay. get on the interstate. Colorado traffic. Uh, no, because we didn't even have to get on the interstate. I should have just gone to the next oh, yeah. street. <laughs> uh. So Nat, what are you dreaming about right now? Dreaming about buying appliances? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I have never wanted my own washer and dryer so badly. I don't think we're going to be renewing our lease here at our current apartment when we're done. We're gonna be looking for somewhere. I think one of the things that we're gonna be looking for is it has to at least have hookups. If we have to go buy them ourselves, we'll go buy them ourselves, but it has to at least have hookups. We need our own washer and dryer. Yeah. 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 I, I... yeah. Shit. How you doing, Tips? Did you find me? Yeah. He's pretty he's, happy. This has become like his favorite mode of transportation lately. Earlier I put him on the ground and uh, <clears throat> told him to crawl to his mom and he got mad and grabbed my finger and wanted to walk there instead. Like he is just, he also is doing stuff like yesterday he was giving me a high five or maybe it was this morning now, I don't know. You know, days blend together. And he let go of his mom and was standing there for probably good 25 to 30 seconds before grabbing back a hold of his mom just on his feet so he's doing these longer and longer like he's feeling really comfortable standing so okay finding shoes for Sean at Costco was a failure all they have is like these ugly house shoes and some sandals and some Crocs and that is not what we're looking for for Sean can you imagine Sean in Crocs oh heavens. up on a roof cleaning it's like <laughs> Normally I would go more like the still-toed boot route, but uh, 
for some of what we do, it really is better to be in kind of lighter shoes. Crocs, no, we shouldn't do that. End of sentence. And there's a Petco, so we're gonna go show some, we're gonna go show Tibbs the fishes. Fishes. Cause he loves the fishes. <laughs> Fish. Yeah, fish. <laughs> Good job. Well, crap. Tibbs lost a shoe. Missing. Missing a shoe. Now we have to go back and walk through Costco and see if we can find it. Ah! No! His new shoe. Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay, mission all is, accomplished. All is repaired. All is it better. was it was inside Petco, Isn't right by fish? the fish. Yeah. I guess whenever we bent down and we, we retraced steps and I asked the guy, I was like, Hey, have you seen a blue and green baby shoe? And he's like, There's a baby shoe right there. <laughs> and he just pointed <laughs> next to himself. So. Natty saw this little boy and couldn't help but thinking, Hey, you almost, you can't keep uh, both your shoes on in a store. Let's give you a, a bracelet in your hand. No, I'm doing this because look, the diaper is leaking. Dude. Oh yeah. I gotta go. Those are so cute. I love this outfit. Look at this. Had to stop and change his pants because as we got here, he leaked through his diaper. Yeah. So lost a shoe, lost a shoe, leaked through the diaper. What's next, Tibbs? Um, so we just priced tires here. And um, I didn't think I would want to buy Walmart tires, but the tires we're going to get here are better than the ones we're going to get in uh, at Costco, and uh, they're like three hundred dollars less. So I feel like I just won the lottery. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> Talking away until he hears the camera go on, and then he stops and puts his chupa in. Uh -huh. That's my son. <laughs> That's tips for you. You little camera shy. I'm out of here. He's going to investigate the dirty clothes. Eh, maybe not. Goodbye. Here you are. Wanna play with the wrench? <laughs> you like tools. Hey, cutie Tibbs. What's up, Rosif? Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, come back tomorrow if you liked it. Okay, uh, subscribe and share. Good night. subscribe if you liked it thumbs up if you liked it comment